In this video, I'll show you how to use a soil moisture sensor with an Arduino. These sensors are useful for Arduino projects like automatic plant watering. This is a resistive soil moisture sensor, which works by measuring the resistance between these two probes. This is different from a capacitive soil moisture sensor, which is a topic for another video. Measuring the resistance works because as soil gets wetter, it gets more conductive or its resistance drops. This sensor has three pins to connect to your Arduino. VCC for power, GND for ground, and SIG for signal. Note that the resistance between the probes depends on their contact area with the soil, so you have to be consistent with how far you have the sensor pushed into the soil when using it. Let's switch over to the computer and take a look at some example code. I'm going to do this in Tinkercad, which is an online circuit in Arduino simulator that lets us look at the circuit and the code side by side at the same time. Let's take a look at the wiring first. Again, we only have three pins, so if all you want to do is use this sensor, you don't even need a breadboard to get started. You can just wire the signal pin to one of the Arduino's analog inputs, the ground pin to ground, and you can send the VCC pin to 5 volts, although that is not a good approach for long-term use of the sensor. The longer you leave the sensor powered on, the faster the probes will start to oxidize and affect the reading of the resistance between them. So later in this video, we'll show how to just intermittently power the sensor on, but this keeps the code very simple for now. All you're doing is taking an analog reading of this analog input pin. So I have a very simple program here to just declare a variable for the sensor reading. I initialize serial communication in my setup function, and then in my loop function, I read that analog print pin and then print out the sensor value. So if I start the simulation here in Tinkercad and open up the serial monitor, you'll see that the Tinkercad simulation gives you a slider to simulate the moisture level. So when it's very dry or the moisture is all the way down here, we get zero. And as we slide the slider over, the reading increases indicating a higher moisture level. Of course, this is just a simulation, so with a physical sensor, you would need to use real wet and dry soil and look at the output on your serial monitor to calibrate your sensor. And again, we'll talk about that a little later in the video. First, let's switch to talking about how we would just power the sensor on intermittently instead of leaving it powered on all the time. We can do that simply by wiring the sensor's VCC pin to one of the Arduino's digital pins instead of directly to 5 volts. We can then use this pin to turn the sensor on and off. In the code, that means I'm going to define a constant variable for the pin I have the sensor connected to, that is pin 8. I'm also going to define a variable for my delay time. In the setup function, I am then going to use the pin mode command to set that pin as an output. And in the loop, I can use digital write to turn the sensor on and off. So first, I set that pin high, have a very brief delay just to wait and make sure the sensor is fully powered on. Then again, I use the analog read command to read the sensor. Then I turn the sensor off by setting that pin low. I can print out my sensor reading, and then I wait to take the next reading. So now the sensor was only powered on very briefly, and I have a longer gap in between readings. So that's going to help not completely prevent, but slow down the oxidation of those probes. I have it with the delay set to 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. But for example, if you were monitoring the soil moisture in a plant, you probably wouldn't need to check it every second. You could check it every few minutes or even every hour or so, or maybe even once a day. And the longer you can stretch that out, again, the longer you can extend the lifetime of your sensor. Now, it's likely that you don't want to just look at output on the serial monitor, you want to use information from the sensor to do something. For example, if you are monitoring the soil moisture in a garden or a potted plant, maybe you want to turn on a red light when the soil gets too dry so you know you need to water them, or a green light when the soil is wet enough so you know not to overwater the plants. So you can see here I have connected two LEDs to my Arduino. If you're not familiar with using the digital output to control LEDs, we have videos earlier in our Arduino tutorial series, which you can find linked in this video description that will walk you through that. But here I'm going to use these LEDs as indicators for the soil moisture sensor. So if we take a look at the code, you can see I have added two variables for pins to control my LEDs, and I have also added a threshold variable. So the Arduino's analog input can produce a number between 0 and 1023. So I have just picked 500 for the sake of this demonstration, 
But again, if you are using a physical sensor in real life, you will need to calibrate it by testing it in wet and dry soil. And again, looking at that output on the serial monitor and deciding where you want your threshold to be for the difference between wet and dry. In the setup function, we also need to define our LED pins as outputs. And then in the loop function, I have now added an if else statement that compares the sensor reading to that threshold value. So if the sensor reading is greater than the threshold value, that means the soil is wet. So we're going to turn the green LED on and the red LED off using digital write commands. Else, that means the sensor value is less than or equal to the threshold value. That means the soil is dry. So we're going to turn the red LED on and the green LED off as an indicator that the plant needs water. So if I run the simulation and drag the slider for the soil moisture sensor back and forth, you will see that it starts out at zero with the red LED on. But as I increase the moisture level, eventually the green LED will turn on once my sensor reading has exceeded that threshold, which I have set to 500. But remember that there will be a delay. So if I drag this slider back and forth really fast, it might not react right away. Or with a real plant, if you dump a whole bunch of water onto the sensor all at once, it won't react until it gets back to the top of this loop after the delay and checks the sensor again. So this video has covered how to use a soil moisture sensor with your Arduino. In the next video in our Arduino tutorial series, we'll cover how to control a pump with an Arduino in case you want to build an automatic watering system. For more cool Arduino projects and over a thousand other projects in all areas of science and engineering, you can check out the rest of our YouTube channel or visit our website www.sciencebuddies.org